Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be talking about where to find practice questions for AP Biology. I know sometimes students ask me where can I get more practice or where should I look at questions to study for the exam or for just class tests. So in this video I'm going to go over some things you should consider when looking for practice questions for AP Biology and some great resources on places to start to get the most bang for your buck on your study time. Remember practice questions are one of the best ways to study and you want to make sure you're using the right types of practice questions when you are studying. The two most important things you need to consider when you're looking at practice questions are is the content aligned with what is actually going to be on the exam and are these questions the same difficulty or rigor and style as what we're going to see on the exam. If the content's not there meaning you're practicing with the wrong information you may not know the answers because you didn't study that stuff or learn it in class you may be preparing for the wrong things that's going to be covered on the exam. If the rigor or the difficulty and the style of question are not, aren't there you may know the content or information but not be prepared to answer the questions because you haven't practiced with questions like these in the past. So it's important to have both content alignment and rigor and stylistic alignment of the questions before you get into any practice. On the AP Bi exam, the questions are very standardized, meaning some things are always the same no matter which year you're taking the test. There's two parts of the exam, the multiple choice questions and the free response questions. On the multiple choice questions, there will always be four answer choices, so A, B, C, and D, not five, not three. And most of the time, they're stimulus-based, meaning there is a model to look at or a little explanation about a phenomenon or some experimental data or a graph or a table that you'll have to look at to answer the question. These questions can be single questions, meaning they're asked in, in isolation, or they're they can be questions that are asked in sets, meaning there's a graph or an experiment given to you, and then several sets, three, four, or five questions that go along with that particular information. So be prepared to dig really deeply into information and multiple choice questions. It's not gonna just be one-off memorization question especially when you get to the final AP Bio exam that's given at the end of the year. For the free response question, I have lots of videos on free response strategies, what's on the free response, how to do well on the free response, so be sure to check out those. But very briefly, there are six free response questions now, too long, four short. There are multiple parts per section, usually in A, B, C, and D, but it depends on the question number. And you do have to write in complete sentences, and you may be asked to explain something, do graphing, make calculations, or even draw a small little bit of something or make a mark on a model in the visual representations question. But you should be practicing all of these things when you're doing your practice questions in your study time in order to prepare for the end of the year. And what's the content you ask? Well, you should be learning the information that all AP Biology students are learning, which is written out in the course and exam description, which I will link in the description to this video. This is a great place to start to check to see whether or not what you're studying or what the practice questions that you're using are actually going to be content that shows up on the real AP Bio exam. So for example, if you're studying plant hormones and you want to know if this is actually a topic that shows up in AP Biology, you can open up this document yourself, control F plant hormone or hormone or plant, and look for any times that they might appear in that actual document. I will tell you now that memorizing plant hormones is not part of the AP biology exam and course description, so you will not need to memorize details about plant hormones for the test, but they may come up in an example and that's okay. There's going to be a lot of information that's talked about on the EP biology exam, but most of what you're asked to do is to apply this new information in contexts that are familiar to you or processes or systems that you have already learned about. All right, so let's get to the gold of practice questions, and those are the ones released by the College Board because they are the ones who write the test at the end of the year. The best place to start are the released free response questions that are published on the College Board's website. Usually these are the exact type of content and rigor that you will see on the exam. Now if you go back in time, yes, the questions do get a little bit different both content and rigor and style wise. Generally questions 2013 and beyond are pretty closely aligned to what you're going to see on the exam today. The questions from 2021 are the most closely aligned because that is the first year we actually got to practice with the new exam format. But anything from 2013 to the present is a good place to start as far as practice questions go for content and rigor and stylistic quality. Now these are just free response questions which can be easily googled by anyone. You don't need to log into a particular system in order to find these. But the next place to go is through AP Classroom which you should have access to if you were a student enrolled in an official AP course at any school. Now if you're self-studying or if you're taking this course and your teacher hasn't 
hasn't officially connected with AP Classroom, it may be difficult to access these resources, but you should have access to AP Classroom with practice questions, review videos, and lots of other study resources which come directly from the College Board. Again, these are both content aligned and going to be the level of difficulty you will see on the AP Bio exam, so be sure to check these out if you do have access to them. Sometimes you can ask your teacher to assign you a particular set of questions if you want to review before a big test. Other times they may assign particular ones to you as practice or a part of a grade, but this is a resource that is available to AP students, so I encourage you to ask your teachers about it if you do not know if you have access or not. The next place to go is to a textbook. Now I know a lot of students use online textbooks these days like OpenStack. OpenStax is an open source textbook so you can access it online for free. There is a version of their biology content called Biology for AP Courses. Now I do think this content gets a little bit deeper than what is actually required in the AP course and there is a lot of extra information and some difficult explanations sometimes. However, they do have some really great practice question resources. If you go to the table of contents after every chapter, there should be be some review questions, which are general just recall review, critical thinking questions, and then of course test prep for AP courses. Now these are the practice questions that you want to focus on because these, these are the ones that are going to be most like what you will see on the AP exam. I would say the rigor and style of these particular questions are pretty well aligned to, to the AP exam. The content can get a little bit beyond what you might want to study, so if you come across something that you think is too difficult or something that you haven't heard of before in your class, you may want to double check it on the course and exam description. Campbell is another really popular textbook that a lot of teachers and students use. You may be using Campbell Biology or the Campbell Biology AP edition or something like this. Now textbooks that like these that are aligned to the AP exam sometimes have markings in them that say AP and that means these are the questions that are most like what are going to show up on the test. Again, I do think sometimes this content gets a little bit further than what you may need to know for the AP exam and the rigor and the style can be a little bit different depending on which questions you're looking at. But it is a good resource, especially if this is the book that you are using in class. So be sure to flip to the back of the chapter, look at those review questions, and then check your answers in the back of the book if you have this resource on hand. Another very popular resource to use are prep books. I have a whole other video set on prep books, but I probably should update it. So let me know in the comments below if you want to see an updated version with uh, my reviews of current prep books for AP Biology. Some very popular ones are here. Again, I do find with prep books, it is a toss up on whether or not they get the content entirely correct. Most of them should be aligned to the course and exam description, especially if they say AP Biology and the year. So check the date of publication and you definitely don't want a hand-me-down book from a big sister or cousin that was used in the early 2000s. I do find with prep books, there are a lot of questions that are not the same rigor or style as the ones in the on the actual test and some students get frustrated using these sometimes. My favorite is Five Steps to a Five. I think they have the most closely aligned questions to what you're going to see in College Board, but remember these are all written by authors who work for publishing companies and not by people who work for the College Board who are writing your questions for the test. Then there's all these different websites and private companies that offer lots of practice questions for AP Biology or any other AP topic. WISE is one that I came across which broadcasts thousands of practice questions at your fingertips if you log in. Of course, you can buy subscriptions or purchase access, access to some of these sites. This is just one example. There's lots of websites like this out there, but when you are vetting these websites and deciding whether or not you want to purchase access or get subscription in order to study for the AP Biology exam, think about all the free resources that you can take advantage of first, and then you want to evaluate the questions. As far as content, again, are they the things that you actually need to learn for the course, and then the rigor and the style, are they going to aligned to the things that you might have seen on practice materials from the College Board. If they do not seem like they're stimulus-based or, they, or if they're just plain recall questions, for example, what type of bonds hold together the base pairs in DNA? That is not something that would be asked directly on an AP exam. You may need that knowledge to answer a question, but the question is not just going to be a simple regurgitation of information. So keep that in mind when you're looking at practice question resources. Last but not least, your teacher is a great place to go for extra free resources uh, and practice questions. Now, teachers actually have access to AP Classroom as well and other secure documents that you do not have access to as students. So you may be able to ask your teacher to do a practice test in class. They may have to supervise you and you might not be able to take those materials out of the classroom. But as an AP Biology teacher, I do know that there are extra supplemental past full length tests from, a, from the College Board that teachers have that students do not have that you could use to practice. Now they may be saving this for the end of the year, but asking your teacher for other resources or practice questions is a great place 
place to go if you're looking for more. What questions do you have on finding practice questions and what the best practice question resources are? Let me know in the comments below. Are there any other sources that you like to use for practice questions? What questions do you have about questions? Thanks so much for watching. Give this video a like if it's been helpful and I'll see you later.